I ask for the truth on behalf of Cathy Sutherland concerning relationship issues. And I ask for guidance and insight in the name of truth, right conduct, peace, love and non-violence. Blessed be to the truth, always. Not quite a cut to the centre there, but where the deck it does split is of course where it is at its strongest point. So maybe the energies are just a bit uh, uh, off balance on this deck at the moment. I'm going to move the cards to the side for you there, Cathy, and I'm going to deal out three of them in a three card spread and each position in the spread as, 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 a, as a, a, a relevant uh, so I suppose in this case it's a point in time sometimes it depends like the ten card Celtic spread of the tarot you can have the present and the overshadowing issue and goal or destiny and so on but in this particular case it's just a simple thing uh, of past present and future so we place the first one for the past the second one for the present and the, th the third one there for the future. You probably just can't see that. Um, I know you can't because I can see on screen and I know uh, that that is invisible. So we'll just adjust them for you so you can see them uh, uh, properly and clearly there and, and, and that should be okay there. Um, I just want to uh, point out here that the, 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 the recent past is a period of time, or the past is the recent past, correction, and it's a period of time between now and this time, roughly last month, whereas the future is the immediate future, uh, a period of time between now and this time next month. So it's as nearest to now as possible without it being now, if you, if you see what I mean. Let's pull out the first card and let's just investigate what's been recently going on from a, a love angle. The meaning of this card in this position, just like the meanings of the cards in all the other positions are relevant to that particular position, the meaning of this card, or how it's interpreted, what it vibrates, the, its energy as you would say, vibrates with the recent past. And given that you've asked about uh, relationship issues, then it, it vibrates with your relationship issues in the recent past, and the meaning of that is 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 is, is read accordingly. So, because we've got a question, and we know what we want guidance about, an insight about. We can get insight about that and and read that aspect, the relationship aspect, I suppose you could say, of this card here. Let's just flip it now, nice and slowly, not to disturb its energy, just to see what that card is. It does help to know, doesn't it? Uh, notice here you've got the energy, uh, in this case the element of Earth. Uh, the element of Earth, of course, with the, um, uh, with, with the Capricorn, Taurus and, uh, and Virgo, the, 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 the Earth signs there indicating that uh, from a relationship point of view I suppose you could say you you uh, you should have been grounded now if you were or not I don't know but certainly spirit is saying here that the energies are saying that you that you should have been grounded you should have approached things logically reasonably I suppose commonsensically practically uh, pragmatically um if, if, if that's um, the right word I'm using there. Uh, that's suppose with the Taurus being an earthly sort of thing, but that Taurus is often 
like a raging bull if they don't get what they want. And, and, and you have to be careful maybe there of, of uh, uh, not doing something stupid, but certainly, of course, it's the past. So he, he sort of vibrates with that sort of thing where you should have been really using logic, reason and common sense, as it says. Uh, in a sense, as we said, as if you should have been grounded. Now, if you were grounded or not, I don't know. Yes, there are certain things I don't know. It's quite all right to not know certain things, but you do know. And that's the most important thing, isn't it? That you know. And, and, and with that, um, uh, that knowledge there... Um, did you? I suppose the question is, were you sensible about this relationship situation that you find yourself in? Were you sensible about the, about the relationship that you are either in or the relationship, the potential relationship that, that you wanted to be in? And, 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 and although I don't know whether you're in a relationship or not, to some degree it's irrelevant because you know the truth and all we're doing is finding what energies was vibrating there that would that would resonate with that and, and, and would help to explain why you were in that position. You should have been grounded, you should have been thinking logically and reasonably and realistically and I get a sense as though you weren't. I'm feeling here that as though as though you weren't reasonable and, and as though this this is here to say what you should have been doing and and, and, and you weren't doing it but that's why you're advised you wouldn't be advised to do something that you're already doing would you that that would be I suppose to some degree ridiculous or mocking somebody's intelligence somewhere along the line but let's move on now to the present and let's just see what's going on here this this really is, is, is representative of a period of time. Roughly, you could say three days behind, three days ahead, that sort of period within this, just this last week, as you, as you could say, through to the end of it, maybe. Well, let's just see as we just flip this card nice and slowly to reveal its energy in a, yes, this, uh, an Egyptian feel there with the Sphinx. The energy of the Sphinx vibrating there, and and she's just, of course, I always focus on the wings here with the green of the heart chakra in the shade there in the shadows. Why I'm focusing on that now, I don't know. As if to say in the shadows, I don't know. But certainly right now, you, you, you should right now be choosing your words very wisely here, as, as it says. You should be careful what you say at the moment. You should have been grounded. You should have been, you should have been pragmatic and realistic. And maybe I got a sense as though you weren't. And now you're in a position where you've just got to be careful what you say. If you're thinking of going on a date, um, just be careful what you say. There's a very high chance that you may blow it. That is a an high chance that you will blow it if you go on a date now. Because you'll end up saying something that maybe you'll regret saying later on. In jest, uh, fools rush in where wise men fear to tre fear to to tread, don't they? But uh, move in haste, repent at leisure comes to mind. And I've learnt that on many occasion when I was uh, on the chess team. Although I was on the lowest board, board five, as you would say, basically loser's board, uh, idiot's board. Nevertheless, uh, nevertheless, um, move in haste, repent at leisure. I certainly uh, learnt that. And maybe you, you, of course, just like chess, you can't teach intuition to some degree. It can only be given to you by spirit, can't it? Uh, in, 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 in some regard or other. But uh, putting that aside, of course, at present, I'm sort of focusing here as though the, yes, the Sphinx, she looks t 
towards us and yet she faces the future she faces this way doesn't she um, what is she saying uh, I don't know sometimes I can look at this particular card and see a, either a lips move or hear a voice or something she speaks but I'm not, I'm not locking onto anything this time other than to know that she is surrounded by darkness in the background as though she's not looking at that but it's there Normally Sphinx are placed at the temple uh, by the pyramids which is a form of temple isn't it or what a tomb or whatever and it's there to protect and of course where the Sphinx is now of course is where the Nile was and, and of course it's, it's gone back one hell of a way so it was on the edge of the Nile at one time but it's receded there. Why well, I'm sort of thinking of that, I don't know. Is there something right now has receded or gone back or, 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 or uh, waned, not what waned, but certainly ebbed away in some capacity or other like the tide, it's ebbed away. Because at the moment it's ebbing away then, correction, more present tense really, isn't it? It's ebbing away. It's... It's 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 moving back. It's it's, it's lessening in in, in in its in its energy and its um, vibrational force there. And it's all because you can't keep your mouth shut. It's all because you you, you just can't help but open your mouth every time you seem to open your mouth. You you put your foot deeper in the shed. That seems to be. Um, what I'm getting from this and you should have been more pragmatic more grounded more realistic more logical but logic goes out of the window when love is blind doesn't it I want to see what the immediate future holds here potentially if negative of course it can be a positive thing I wonder why that would be is it because forewarned as forearmed maybe Let's see though what it is, because if positive, that can be a negative thing in the sense of beware of complacency. What energy is it? As we flip over the card here, notice here the energy of the siren. Surrounded by darkness there, as you can see, the siren is, I suppose, a bit like the devil in the tarot deck, isn't it? Um, in the sense that... Uh, between now and this time next month a temptation will lead you astray temptation will lead you astray you will be lured into something that is not of your best of interests given that the question was about relationships i uh, rather sense here that it's it's to do with being lured into a relationship that is not in your best of interests. Be careful what you say right now. Why am I getting this feeling of walking on eggshells with somebody? But you're prepared to do it because otherwise you'll end up with nobody. Is it really worth that? I wonder. Is it really worth all, 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 all that for, for, for you to do that? Or, or not? I somehow feel as though something has been unsaid here. I just want to, um, we just want to uh, bring these cards aside here as we pull out another card for around about June time, maybe. I want to just see what the next card is as if something's been unsaid I could have placed it underneath as if it's a dominating factor of all these cards here but I somehow sense it, 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 it's a continuation of I'm just going to flip this card nice and slowly not to disturb its energy the black cat the energy of the black cat more Egyptian energy there with the sphinx and now the black cat uh, 
it looks like your luck will be changing in June, in 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 in, in around about June time. Um, you will be lured into something that is not in your best of interests next month, but of course your luck will change. And maybe I've sort of sensed here as though you'll be meeting the right one then, or somebody you will think is the right one, and you will ditch the one who is temporarily there at the moment, luring you into a situation that is not in your best of interests, and I think you know that. But the black cat, of course, provides that protection in the darkness, that independence as well, in the sense that you can go it alone. And, and, and um, branch out on your own without the help of others, to some degree. But from a relationship point of view, um, you are capable of finding somebody yourself you don't need others to help you or be lured into a relationship maybe that is not in your best of interest just to appease yourself and appease your friends to say that i've got somebody like you've got somebody i'm in the got somebody brigade now or the got somebody club uh, i'm not in the got nobody club anymore i'm i'm i'm, I'm on uh, I'm in with you and we can talk about our boyfriends together or whatever it is our partners and this is the thing it's just because uh, we want to be seen um we want to, we, we, you're more interested in being seen with somebody than actually who, who that person is or what that person is about a bit like um the analogy of 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 of, of the uh, or, or all the uh, hypocrites love to be seen at the temple sort of saying you know lord i thank you that i'm not like that sinner over there i thank you god that i'm not as an evil bastard like him over there i'm grateful that you've blessed me with righteousness and yet the one who is the righteous one just says lord forgive me for i have sinned i am a sinner And that's the, the nip and tuck of it. I want to pull another card here. I don't know why. I still feel as though more energies are coming out here. Your luck changes. But what happens around July, around summer? What kind of summer are you going to have here? Uh, this is a very interesting energy here. Uh, the element of air. And the element of air is, um, of course... Um, um, vibrating with Libra and an and a Libra and a, an Aquarius there and um, and, um, and, and, and and Gemini and that's I suppose I suppose the Gemini element is where it's more to do with the partnership but it's more to do with the partnership between you and yourself As it says, seeking a union of mind and spirit. And maybe in that regard, of course, air is communication, creative and transmissive powers. And, and it's to do with, with that, isn't it? Really. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's any more we can... Uh, we can add to this really uh, other than other than just to your luck is in and and maybe your luck will change it it's as if it's saying your luck will change when you learn to get to know yourself maybe the love affair between you and yourself is more important or will be more important this summer than being seen with others or being seen with somebody whilst you're out with others being seen on somebody's arm just so you can say i've got somebody you haven't or i've got somebody like you have but you won't have somebody you will be lured into a situation that is not in your best of interests but your luck will change as you become more independent and you will be protected and empowered 
and then once you're empowered you will realize that it's you that you must get to know first and once you get to know yourself do you know what will happen you will get to know you the true you which is the light that shines the light of the world the light that shines in darkest of hours the light the inner light the light of the world as we say and that light shines in everybody and if you can get to know yourself and, and, and get to know that light that shines within you which is the light of the world which is the light that everybody else has within them you will get to know whoever it is you, you are you are to meet and be and spend the rest of your life with because in a way it's you isn't it it's a part of you and that's what makes that person your soul mate isn't it I think for now here we shall um, uh, just cast a shadow over this now because um, we, we, we've gone into into July and, and summer and, and, and there's enough here to be contending with maybe to be referred to back later if you if you wish to do so, it's there for you. But for now, it's time to uh, to uh, 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 close uh, this, and and for now, just for you, just for now, until maybe next time. These cards have spoken.